In this video, we will be laying out the angle bracket drawing. Taking a look at our original drawing, we first want to identify the total height and width of the drawing. The overall width is six inches and the overall height is four inches. I'm going to duplicate these measurements and create a reference box that this object will fit within. On my drawing area, I have not provided any reference lines to get started. We are going to use the corner of the paper as our first two reference lines. This will ensure we have two edges that are perpendicular to each other. So I'm going to come over six inches for the width of our object and I'm going to put a couple reference points and connect those together. I'm going to come up four inches again putting a couple reference points and connect those together. The reference box that I have drawn is drawn to the extents of our drawing itself. So every component on our original drawing will fit inside of this box. To begin laying out the drawing, I'm going to start in the bottom left hand corner. And I'm going to start creating some reference points that we can draw lines between. Looking at the lower left hand corner, I can come over 1.125 inches and that creates my first reference point. Looking back at our drawing, we can see that our second reference point for this line is two inches down from the top. Now given that the overall height is four inches, I could also measure two inches from the bottom of the drawing going upward. And then I can connect these lines together. Because our original object is symmetrical, the 1.125 measurement can also be used on other areas of the drawing. We are going to create another reference line towards the top of the drawing at 1.125 inches. And then we'll connect those together as well. And we can continue this for the other side of our drawing. Next we need to lay out the indented portions towards the center of the drawing. We could do some math and add 1.125 plus 1.375 to get our leftmost reference line for our indented area. Instead, I'm going to create center reference lines and base my measurements off of that. 
So again, my total height was four inches and my total width was six inches. So I'm going to use those measurements to create a halfway point and add some light reference lines. Looking back at our drawing, we can see that this indented portion is one inch wide. I can use that measurement, split the difference, and go a half inch on either side of my center reference line. Connecting those together then gives me some reference lines for the leftmost and rightmost line of that indention. We can then see that it is cut in one inch. So I'm going to measure one inch and add additional reference lines. And at this point, we have all of our outside lines of our object drawn. We just need to darken them in. And at this point, our angle bracket drawing is completed.